Now we have a group of four surahs, the warning surahs. The common, you know, subject is warning of the Day of Judgment. Most impressive. And this surah, you know, Surah al -Zizal, the Prophet has said it is equal to 1,000 ayat. That is nearly one-sixth of the Qur'an. Surah Al-Takasur, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Al-Hakum takasur O mankind, your rivalry for competition, for amassing riches, makes you unmindful. You want more, 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 more wealth, more riches. And you are busy in this. You are lost in this. And you remain unmindful of the real facts of life. What is going to happen? What is going to happen to you on the Day of Judgment? Until you reach the graves. No. But then you shall come to know, you shall realize what were the realities. Summa kalla sofat alamun. And again, then you shall come to realize and you will know. Kalla law ta'alamun ilm al yaqeen. Would that you knew with knowledge of certainty. Latarabun al jaheem. You shall certainly see the hellfire. Summa la tarabunna ha'in al yaqeen, and then you shall see it with the eye of certainty. Now these two words which have appeared here, ilmul yaqeen, ainul yaqeen. There are two stages of knowledge, rather three. Ilmul yaqeen, you know something by inferring, by some logical conclusions. This is ilmul yaqeen. When you see it, this is Ainul Yaqeen. For example, if there is smoke rising, by Ilmul Yaqeen you come to know there is a fire. You have not seen the fire, but you have inferred because there is smoke going up, so there must be fire. But when you see the fire, now this is Ainul Yaqeen. There is a third term used in Quran twice, Haqqul Yaqeen. Although this has not been used in that sense, but some of the scholars count them, that this is the third and final level of the knowledge, Haqqul Yaqeen. When you put your hand in that fire and it burns, now you have the real conviction this is fire. But when you are seeing the fire, maybe, that this is some illusion, So, maybe some hallucinations, even through senses, the knowledge that you get, you know, that can be wrong. So, ilmul yaqeen, ayanul yaqeen, haqqul yaqeen. For the Qur'an, you know, in Surah Al-Waqiyah, and then in Surah Al-Haqqah, innahu la haqqul yaqeen, this word has appeared for Qur'an. Summa la tusalunna yawma izin alin na'im. Then on that day you will be questioned concerning the worldly blessings that we have given you. We gave you this and this and this and this. What did you do? There is a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. لَن تَزُولَ قَدَمْ أَبْنِ آدَمْ حَتَّى يُسَلَى أَنْ No human being will be able to go away. Then he will be made, made to stand before the Lord for that accountability. Unless he is questioned about five things. And Omorehi Fimafna, regarding his age, where did you spend it? In what business? What occupation? What were you doing? Van Shababehi Fimafna, especially the youth, the youthful, you know, when there are energies, you know. In what condition did you pass that period of the life? About the wealth, from where did you get it? Through permissible means or haram means, forbidden means. Where did you spend it? 
in the correct way, for the needy, for the deen of Allah, for your, you know, lawful rights of your body, of your children, or in luxuries, to show off your wealth, tabzeer, and finally, وَعَمَّا عَمِلَا فِي مَا عَلِمَا How much did you practice what you learned? You went on learning, 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 learning. You accumulated the knowledge of a library in your, in the cells of your brain, but you are not practicing it. Then this knowledge will be used as a witness against you. Al-Qur'an hujjatun laka hao alayka. This Qur'an is either a guide for you or against you, a witness against you. Oh Allah, he read me. But then, even then he did not practice me. Summa la tusallunna yawma izin anil na'im. Allahumma hasibna hisaban yasirah. 